All right, welcome back to Zora's Domain. Now, off camera, I walked around the domain a little bit more, trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. I picked up that scale that helps me dive a little bit. And I can't, I can't figure out what I did wrong. I'm sure he just has to move, but I tried the song. Okay, so when you're stuck in this game, you either have to figure it out from Navi or just explore. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to explore. We'll get some stuff along the way. I think I want to, I want to visit the river. Let's see what's over there. And, uh, like this, I think you can, there's two ways into the, into the big old lake. Like Hilia, and I think, yeah, okay, so I can only get here because of that scale I got. Because it wouldn't let me dive any further. Lost Woods, okay, so is this it? No, this is Lost Woods. So, how do I get to the lake? Is the question. Maybe this isn't it. Maybe it's in the domain. It, you know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe it's in the domain, because I remember the diving is pretty damn important. I got my big old wool. So we're, we're gonna go back to the domain. Maybe it'll be in there. Because we got to get to the lake, because it's one of the few places we haven't visited. Uh, one place, I know you can't get to the Gerudo place without. Oh shit, fuck. Oh shit, fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, it's nighttime and I can hear. <gasps> I can hear a gold skull tola. I can hear one. Oh, hey, buddy. Alright, so let's kill you. <laughs> That's why it's always smart to check places at night, and we did that inadvertently. Alright, so I think the next thing unlocks when you get 20 of them, so I guess every single time you gotta play the damn song. That's fine, I guess. Just play the damn song. The fucking song if you want. Glad I remember it. Oh, Alright, so today I did something I rarely do. Um. I don't know how often you guys buy clothing, but I'm a very thrifty guy, and I'm the financial advisor of my household. So I don't typically like to spend money on myself. I like to save that money. So I bought a I bought a little I bought a little sweater hoodie thing for twelve dollars. Usually I don't like to pay even that much, but you know what? It's been a couple years since I bought some clothing, so I'm super fine with that. Right, so in here somewhere, there's a hole, I think. Yep, there it is. So we'll get, we'll get to the, I think this is how you get to the lake. And maybe, and maybe our answer is in the lake. <gasps> yes, it is! The bottle! The bottle! I totally forgot about the bottle! Yes! And I get another bottle! Rudo's message is in there! Video games! This is how you figure shit out. You just explore- That is- I love this game. <laughs> just real quick. Okay, so we'll, we'll do that in a second. We're gonna- we're gonna do a little exploring. And I think we're gonna do- Do the fishing, is what I think. Cause there's a fishing place. So this is Lake Hylia, or Hylia. This is where- this is where you- there's a couple things you can do. There's a lot of fun stuff to do in every new area, and this is no different. One of the things we need to do is we need to talk to Mr. Scarecrow Man. I think this is where... yeah, I think you do it now, and then he hooks you up later. There we go. Whoa, you have an ocarina? Hey, why don't you lay a tune on me with it, baby? Um... Now, you want to make it something you can remember. That's actually really important. Um... What about... Uh... There you go. That's easy to remember. Not bad. I will remember it for you. Let's see. So anytime I play it... Let's do... There you go. So like you can you can play anything you want and that becomes a new song. That is a new song. It's... I think it's actually registers in the system as... The, no, no, okay. It is the Scarecrow song, but it's not an official song. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, my name is Pierre, Wandering Scarecrow. So he's not wandering. See, the idea is, later on in the game, he... he is all over the place, and you can play the song and he'll appear, and you can hook shot to him. Hook, 
hook shot. But right now, our goal is clear. We're gonna go fucking fishing! Fucking fishing! I love fishing so much. Talk to you. Yes, I wanna fish. He doesn't give you a time limit. Rumble pack. Yeah, yeah, I got a rumble pack. Great. Fish time. Let's do it. So, the goal for fishing is actually pretty clear. It's to catch the biggest fucking fish you can. And I happen to remember where that fucking fish is. That fish is in one place. In exactly one place. It's kind of... It kind of sucks that it's predictable like that, where he's in the same spot every single time. But I fucking love catching this little bitch. Alright, so... He should be... Uh... I don't really see him <laughs> in the spot he should be in. Let's try it anyway. Let's see if we can't see him once we get it a little close. Do a little bit there. Yeah, there he is! Hey, buddy. Hey, hey buddy. You wanna eat it? I think the strategy is you wanna manipulate it so he's interested. <gasps> Got him! I think you just gotta press it. Press the button. Come on! Vendor! Now hold the rear! Pull it in the opposite direction! I think I just hold A! Press and B! Come on, buddy! Come on, fit! Fit it! Fit it! Fit it! Come on, fit it! Wow, this is a real lunker. Ten fucking pounds. Hell yeah, I want to keep it. And that's it. We fished. We're done. <laughs> nice and simple. It feels good to be the master of all video games. Beat the shit with no problem. No problem. We fished the fuck out of this place. And it was first try we caught the biggest fish. First try. Because that's what we're all about. What did you want? Wait, my fish. Yup. Give me my prize. Yup! Alright, see ya! Oh. Shit, I gotta, <laughs> gotta give your shit back, I guess. Uh, I cool, wanna quit? Great. Come back when you're all there. Quit being an asshole? <laughs> How about that? How about shut up? <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything under this rock? Is there like three rupees? Oh, just a bunch of nut. Bunch of Little seeds. Right, let's get to some swimming. So, I don't think I can do anything with that laboratory up there. I don't think there's anything for me. Um, what we need to do, though, is we need to read that note. Let's do that note. In a bottle. Another fucking bottle. It's so awesome. Alright. Um, it looks like there is something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Great, I'm in trouble. Fucking save me. Great. So now we'll talk to the dude. We'll save him. And then we have three fucking bottles. We're never gonna die. Like, I hope you realize that. Like, this will never be a time where it's like, we're gonna die. It's just not gonna happen. We're fucking immortal at this point. Two more bottles. Make three. And there's a total of four. So, and then now we solved the mystery why fucking dude wouldn't do anything. It's because you need to know that Rudo is in Jabu Jabu's belly. You gotta know that shit. Or else they don't fucking care. They will just let you search for her in the one place where she would be. No. You gotta have explicit evidence to dictate that she's there. Alright, more seeds. Let's go. Let's get this shit on. See, and there is a little bit of a natural progression there. They gave me the the little scale so I could swim deeper, and I swam deeper to get to the shit, so I should have known. Yup! This is a letter. It's from Princess Ruto. Yes! Great! Yes! No, it is possible, because that's where she fucking is. Eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, all this shit's breaking loose. That's what happens. When you trust a Gerudo. Now, I don't want to be racist. I'm not racist. But all of those Gerudos are thieves. What a fat ass. Come on. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. 
And, uh, just real quick, no bias against fat people. I definitely love fat people. Definitely love them. They're very attractive to me. I'll tell you that much. Just tell you that much. Come on. Oh my god! Today, please! <laughs> it's time to move. Okay. Finally. Now we can continue our class. I think there might even be a fairy fountain over here. Maybe? We'll, we'll take a look. Because I would love... I would love to get my fa all my bottles full of fairies. I would love that. Look at that fish. Giant fish fuck. Oh, no! I need to get... Oh, yeah, because, like, you have to get in. I wonder if this says, like... Oh, what do get? Uh, do not disturb him. Okay, so he's just kind of sitting here in his fishy glory, and his shit doesn't open. So you gotta find a way to get his mouth open. And how do you suppose you get a fish's mouth open? Well... I tried a sword to cut it open, that shit didn't work. What will work though is if I find some fish to feed him. And I gotta find some I know you can buy it and I know there's actually some back in there and I should have fucking got it, but I didn't. So we're just gonna have to find it. And we'll search around for anything else in the meanwhile. Okay, you see the two different colors of rocks? Uh, one can be destroyed with a bomb, the other has to be destroyed by other means, by uh, a megaton hammer. So you'll notice it's right in between, so if it could be destroyed by both. Oh! Okay. Great Fairy Fountain? <gasps> Whoa! Great Fairy Fountain! I didn't know it was a great one. Oh, this is great. Um... There we go. Perfect. Perfect! Which one is this? Is this the Fairy's Wind, maybe? Which I don't use, but still cool to have? Come on, lady. I wish you had fairies, those are the ones I want. What's up, beautiful? I like your little three pigtail things. And your fairy, oh my god, those are, those could kill a motherfucker. Welcome, Zelda, the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell, yes. She's gonna give me Fairy's Wind, if I'm not mistaken. I don't use either one of the other spells you're given. You're given three spells. There's Fire, uh, Wind, and Love or something. And I don't use the Wind or Love. Just don't. Just don't need them. This one's interesting because it's warp magic. You can use it to warp out of a dungeon. Like, you set it, so it's, it's, I don't know, there's probably a super use for it, but I just, I, I blood force trauma this game. <laughs> I get through it, and I don't, I don't tend to use it. But it, it's useful if you're, if you're not very good, and, you know, you, you die often. You can use it to get back to, like, the beginning of the stage, or maybe to a, a specific point. There we go. I always think they're fucking terrifyingly crying or some shit when they scream like that. So creepy. So creepy. Okay, so let's... We're on, we're on a mission. We gotta find some fucking fish. If I have to go back inside, I'm gonna be so mad. Because there was fish right inside. And I didn't get them. Is there fish over here? And you gotta get close, because sometimes the draw distance is a problem. There's def I think there's like a heart piece at the very bottom, but you require a much later item to get it. So, come on. Where's the fish? I know there's some deep, but the idea is you have to be able to stand to use the uh, to use your, your bottle. So it has to be like where I'm standing right now, for instance. Butterflies, I don't need that shit. Oh, come on, there's gotta be some fish! Where's some fish? Just give me some damn fish! Fine, if you're gonna be like that, let's go back inside. Well, let me check the other side of this thing first before, before we go. Check right over here. There's a fish. Fish? Nope. I could have sworn to you that there was definitely fish, but there definitely isn't. Oh, I don't care. Alright, so we gotta get back in there, grab fish, come back out, and then we'll be able to complete this shit. And actually, you know what? Oh no, no, I might as well show you where they are. I might as well, it'll only take a second, and then we'll call it an episode and get inside Jabu Jabu. Alright. 
Because who knows, you might be playing this game with me now. And you'll be like, where can I find fish? Do I have to buy them? And the answer is absolutely not. Don't buy them. You can find them for free and you can find them very easily. I'll show you where. So on the other side of the bridge here, over here, as you can see, there's a shop. And that shop sells you fish. Yeah, no big deal. Or just walk right over here and just pick them up. Easy. Done. Got yourself wonderful free fish. And with that, see you at the dungeon next time on Zelda!